the makeup don't do, and you fine. It don't do no go. Uh uh, we go sleep for yeah. No we'll go now, yeah. Oh, babe, you too fine. Ah, babe, you too fine. You they bust my head. Your beauty is busting my brain. You get you too fine. I beg you. Hey, woman, where they find Pekin? No, they wear pants. Or the person is your friend. You want to just not let the person's head swell too much. You just say, ah, you fine, no. This is your earring fine. You try, you try, you fine. <laughs> That's the the prideful way of complimenting somebody. Make you no enter your head. Me, you know the feet now. You fine, pass. Um, you try, yo. You fine, no. See your dimple. Hey lovelies, my dear pigeon lovers, thank you for tuning in. I'm here again to express and explain some pigeon English phrases in English. Please get your pen and paper, write it down. And what can help you learn is also practicing, okay? If you have Nigerian friends or you have a friend that is interested in this language, both of you can try and practice. So instead of saying, what are we going to cook today? You would say, what till we go cook today? Wait till we go cook today. Or you want to ask your friend, what would you like to eat? Wait till you go like chop, 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 chop for mouth, chop them means eat it, right? So wait till you go like chop. You can actually say wait till you go like it, but if you want to really speak pigeon pigeon, wait till you go like chop or wait till you go like to chop waiting you go like to chop so say it to your friend now that friend beside you ask your friend so that you can take your friend out to mcdonald's <laughs> you want to ask someone are you going to work today you they go work today that's one way or you go go work today you go go work are you going to go to work <laughs> that's how we that's our nigerian english are you going to go to work you go go work or you they go work, meaning will you go to work today? You they go work today, and your friend can respond, No, I know they go work. Yes, I they go work. No, I know they go work. Or yes, I they go work. How do you say I don't have? I no get. Period. I no get. So I want to tell you, I don't have anything to say to you. I will go, I no get anything to tell you. You be bad friend. I don't get anything to tell you. You want to say, oh, I don't have cash on me. Do you have? You go, I don't get extra change. You get, meaning I don't have extra money on me. Do you have? I don't get extra change. You get. So I know get means I don't have. Okay. If I want to say you talk too much, I will say you too talk. You too talk. Like you're always talking. You too talk. Or oh, that get to the talk. Or that boy, too, they talk. I no trust him. I know if he tell you my secret, you too, they talk. I can't tell you my secret, you talk too much. I no go tell you my secret, you too, they talk. I know if he tell you my secret, you too talk. You too talk, I beg, shift, you too talk. You're always running your mouth. You want to ask, where are you? Or where is she? Where is he? Where is it? Where are you? Where you day? Where you day? Where is she? Where she day? Where is he? Where is E day. Where is it? Where e day? E. Okay. Where e day? So you should, you can always replace I T with the letter E. Where e day? E no day here. Oh. It's not here. E no day here. Not H E, but letter E. E no day here. E no day there. E no day here. Oh. Meaning, is it not there? No, it's not here. E no day here. Oh. You know, we always say, oh, on top, to emphasize, to stress on the fact that it's really not here, man. Like, it's not here. It's not there. It's not there. Oh. Eh, where it come there? Where it come there? Meaning, so where is it? I don't know. Where you think, say, it go day? Where is it likely to be? Where you think, say, it go day? And the last time where I see him, it day kitchen. But I don't check kitchen. I don't see him again. Last time I saw it, it was in the kitchen, but I have checked the kitchen and I did not find it there. The last time where I see him, it did kitchen, but I know I check kitchen and I don't see him again. Oga, oga means boss, okay? But we typically also use it to refer to your partner, your male partner. So oga and madam means boss, okay? Madam, boss, oga, boss. 
But people, if they want to ask, how is your wife? They will say, how your madam? If they want to ask, how is your husband? How your oga? How your oga? Or you don't tell your oga. Have you told your boss? Have you told your husband? Your oga day house is your husband at home. Your oga day house, your madam day house is a question. Your madam day house, your oga day house. Eh, okay. When you come back, tell them, see, I did great time. Extend my gratitude, my, my greetings to your husband. Since he's not at home, okay. Tell him, say, I ask of him. Tell him I asked after him. Extend my greetings. Tell him, say, I did greet them. Or greet them for me. It's just a shorter way to go. Greet them for me. When he come back, greet them for me. When he gets back, greet him for me. Before we go ahead, let's get into the pigeon phrase of the day. The pigeon phrase of the day is actually a proverb. It's actually a very hilarious proverb and it goes like this. Woman with a fine pekin, no they wear pants sleep. Hey! Woman with a fine pekin, no they wear pants sleep. It's a proverb, it's a funny proverb, but it's true. Those looking for the fruit of the womb would definitely have more sex. So if you are looking for the fruit of the womb, why can't you be wearing pants to sleep in the night? Eh? Honorary married woman said, not supposed to wear pants. I saw one video. They said, oh, married women should not be wearing pants. Are you married? Do you wear pants? You they wear pants sleep? You they wear pants? No, they wear pants. If you define picking, that's it. Period. If you want to tell someone, oh, sorry, I haven't come to visit you. I've not been feeling fine. You would say, Sorry, sir, I never come see you. Me, self, no well. Okay? Me, self. Me, myself. I'm not, I, I wasn't well. You can say, I know they feel fine. I know they feel fine. It means I'm not feeling good. But if you want to say you were not feeling fine before, you will go, I been, no, they feel fine. Or I been, no well. Been means it has passed. I been, no well. I been, no well i've been no well before anyone i've been no well or i've been no they feel fine i've not been feeling fine then the person will go so how you how you did now how body how is your body how body body do mm. i did improve <laughs> body day i did improve i'm getting a lot better somebody calls you when you're at work and the person planned to call the person told you he will call you earlier before you go to work you can tell the person i've been done come out i've been done come out for house before you call me it means i was not home when you called i've been done reach work you can say i don't even reach work before you call you can say it anyhow i don't reach work before you call i don't reach work before you call sorry say i know peak Sorry, sir, I no pick your call. I don't already reach work before you call. Or I don't reach work before you call. Or I've been done reach work before you call. Or I've been done come out for house before you call. If I'm too fast for you, let me know. But sometimes I feel like I'm too slow for you guys because I have been slow, slow, slow. We suppose don't graduate at this point. We suppose don't come up. So I'm assuming that I'm not fast. But if I'm fast, let me know so that I can work on it in the next one so i want to compliment you because you look so fine and you're a lady i go say babe you fine die or oh, babe you too fine ah babe you too fine you did bust my head your beauty is busting my brain you get you too fine i beg you you too fine you did bust my brain babe you fine die all right i say man you too handsome, but boy, you too fine. You too fine. You too handsome. You too cute. Whatever it is, you fine die. Ah, this your body just de scatter my hair. It just de scatter my dada. Ah, your beauty de scatter my dada. Literally, you complimenting people. If you don't want to be dramatic about it, you could, you can just go. Ah, I like what you they wear. It's fine. I like what you're putting on. It's fine. Or the person is your friend. You want to just not let the person's head swell too much. You just say, ah. You fine, no. This is your earring fine. You try, you try, you fine. <laughs> That's the the prideful way of complimenting somebody. Make you no enter your head. Me, you know what the feeling that you fine pass. Um, you try, yo. You fine, no. See your dimple. <laughs> so when there's traffic jam in Nigeria, we call it go slow. 
So go slow day that road. Oh. You think say go slow go day road. Do you think there will be traffic? Do you get what I mean? You think say go slow go day or go slow day that road. Or or more we they go slow since so we they go slow. Go slowly, right? That's how we express, that's how we say traffic jam. Go slow. Um, uh, the go slow long. The go slow long from Alaba Market to Ota. <laughs> oh, yeah, now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, now. is like, come on. Like, come on. Come on now. Oh, yeah, let's go. For example, we're supposed to go out and you're wasting time making up. I can go, oh, yeah, it's okay. No, go. Oh, yeah, now. No, they go. The makeup don't do and you'll be fine. It don't do. No, go. Uh uh, we go sleep for yeah. No, we go now. Yeah, ah. Uh. Or like, okay, let's like come on. Basically, oh yeah means come on. But I'm looking for like more f more examples. Um, for example, we're supposed to bake a cake. Oh yeah, we go bake that cake now. The person you are telling will now still reply you with oh yeah, like. Oh yeah, now go. Oh yeah, like oh yeah, we are both in agreement and we are going to do this thing. So it's either when we are both in agreement, we can both use oh yeah, or if you're trying to get me to do something, more like come on, let's get this done. Let's get this done. Come on, that's how you use oh yeah. All right. So you go to the market to buy something and you think it's too expensive because obviously in our market we bargain. If something sells for five hundred naira. They will most likely tell you it sells for 700 naira. If you're a big person, you just pay the 700. But if you have it in mind to buy it for 480 naira, you will not tell the person, no, madam, I'm going to give you 450. You've seen it in the in the video where I bargained. If you've not seen it, check the video where I, I did a prank on a taxi driver. In that video, I taught you guys how to be on the streets of Nigeria, how to bargain. How to ask people for direction just in case you find yourself in nigeria sometime you should check that video out so if you won't go buy something i'm going to use pigeon now i think you guys should get it by now so if you won't go buy something for market and it's in to cost and you want price you the price meaning that you're bargaining the person tell you say now 700 you can say oh now 450 i get the person say oh yeah bring bring 500 you say no now 480 last if the person says 500 you can go i beg it to cost or it to cost i beg ah it to cost now 480 all right or if something is cheap and you maybe this outfit i'm putting on somebody says oh how much did you buy it i can say ah it's cheap oh just buy them 2000 it's cheap there so we use the word die to emphasize how to emphasize just to throw more emphasis on that thing that's why i say ah you find die or this food sweet die or oh, that girl, fine, die. Or oh, the clothes, cheap, die. Or oh, that shopping, eh? they get things, die. It means that the shop is stocked up to the brim. I'm going to end today's today's video here. I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you have video um, requests, please put it in the comments. I'm going to be right there to re reply you and film a video to, you know, satisfy you guys. Thank you so much pigeon lovers for watching i'm going to see you guys in the next video until then stay safe remember me always think about me watch my videos i love you guys bye now <laughs> bye